everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. I am one of the first to criticize Nidhi Sanji on its managerial mistakes, on its upper management mistakes. Like I said, the upper management should be switched because they have not been doing a good job for the agency for their talents which are the crux of their agency they are the ones the backbone of the of the agency if you lose your talents you no longer have an agency if your talents are no longer uh desiring to make content if your talents no longer feel they can make content in a safe way or in a way that helps them feel good um that that keeps their 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 emotional uh you know movements up their emotional uh feelings up uh feeling like they are respected feeling like they are they just you know they feel like they are <clears throat> appreciated that type of stuff then you have these issues here we have uh, claude clamark he has had his foot and mouth moments i'm gonna not not give him like a clean pass he has foot and mouth moments so if they can just ask when it came to the the uh the play button Something that people will not let him forget. I won't let him forget that. But let's see what he has to say here. He is, um, oh, just before I actually go through and uh, let you hear everything that he's saying, we have basically what he's saying here is that people are uh, shipping him in tags put, and he's putting his foot down pretty much. That's another thing, actually, by the way. I feel like people need to be a little more cognizant of putting shit in my tags, by the way. Listen, I do not, and this is like a hard, hard stop do not and i repeat do not put like ship content or anything ship related in my tags that is that is for me and other people to see and i for one do not want to see that stuff okay that is that is just the bottom line okay well that's good it's good that he's putting his foot down i mean good for him putting his foot down not to see if he sticks by it oh this uh the, he just effing ass people so stop so yeah people are still getting on him for that uh who are they shipping him with silver play button Love a good story about a forbidden love. Uh, I F with this, but he'll forever be a meme. Sorry, Mark. Uh, good news. He finally set boundaries. Bad news. Tad bit too late. Already has kind of a fans. Uh, this kind of fans. If it was only then, it would be reduced. Doing it now, he's in when he's in hot water. Uh, like trying to salvage a slowly sinking ship. Of course, he always has the right to do that. Whether it's a sinking ship or not. Whether he is is too late or not. He has the right to do that as a content creator to set boundaries. It's good to freaking set boundaries because a lot of people like, you know, Vox and, and Hex. They do that after they've gotten their money from Fujo baiting and things like that. But I mean, good for him that he's setting boundaries. Like I said, it may be too little too late. Uh, it all depends on whether the fans want to even listen. Like a lot of times the fans are already too into their own stuff to really care about this. But hopefully, you know, people stop shipping him because it makes him stressed. And, you know, I don't want people to be stressed. These are thought exercises that I like doing here because I like uh, just, you know, thinking about things like this. Which of these Sanji Ian Livers are or were the heart of the group? For those who don't know what the heart of the group, this person explained it pretty well. In character writing, the main core trait of the heart is that they're emotional support weight bearer of the team. Without the team, without them, the team would lose emotional stability. Problem here is that this archetype is hard to define IRL. Most often than not, part of a different archetype, the leader since both are usually part of the same package. A good example I've seen the heart would be Polka from Generation 5, in my eyes. She's the member who would go out of their way to help others in Hololive, evident by her helping out Nena's depression. So things like that. Uh, it is kind of a vague thing, but in those, I would think, like I think someone named down here, would be, for example, an appliance in EGN, Lazulite would be Pomu. The, the heart would be Pomu, keeping everything together, keeping the mental fortitude of the group together, trying to kind of, you know, keep everything cohesive. And one part of the group, that's why like people are like leader slash heart. It could be either way. The heart, I think, is more on the emotional level. The leader is more on the, uh, you know, trying to keep people uh, in line and trying to keep people moving forward. I think the heart would be like, hey, you know, you're having a hard time like what Polka does for Nenit. You're having a hard time? Come chat with me. You know, if there's any issues you need, come chat with me. The leader would be more like, oh, if you're having problems with, you know, your setup, etc., come chat with me. And also, you know, that could be the heart type stuff. So they kind of intermingle with themselves. Obsidia. Most likely Rosami, Etheria would be Nina, Luxium would be Mista when he was still around. I have no idea about the rest, probably Albin for Noctix. Um, and that is, you know, people like that for, you know, Selene probably for for her uh, her generation as well. You know, before she left, she seemed to have been kind of the, the crux of holding everything together. The person that everyone uh, pointed to and were like, you know, this is, this is the person that kind of symbolizes the group and kind of gets, you know, the emotional uh, stability of the group going. A bit of a meme with this one. I'm treating this more as a meme because, of course, it is uh, looking at 
how poorly Nidhi Sanji treats their talents with, you know, the play buttons. As we all know, it's become a meme at this point. Uh, Rara took 44 days for the silver play button. That's how long it took them to get their silver play button, uh, which is amazing. It's amazingly fast. It is something that happens now all the time with Hololive, the girl side, more than Hollow Stars, because of course, you know, male VTubers have a little bit more trouble, especially now with the very flooded market of getting their play buttons. But Rara took 44 days. Here's their play button. Here's a closer look. Of course, they did the reflection thing. I think Fomoko's done it. Others have done it. It's kind of cool. I don't know how to do that myself, but it's kind of cool that to, you know, make that look like that. It's it's a it's a cool thing to do. Uh, guys, I told you anime girls were real. It's just a big cat reflection. Sorry, I didn't believe you, but uh, then, but yeah, it's obviously, I must admit. And of course, of course, whenever you have someone actually getting their play buttons, you have to have this. And then now, no, it's not going to, now, now, it's not going to stay at the office next to all the other really cool buttons, which by the way, I think, okay. I know there are some people who are being like, oh my God, how come, how come the livers can't have little play buttons? How come they can't take it home? You know what? If we really wanted one, we could just effing ask. Uh, I think a lot of them have asked and nothing's happened so far. Uh, so that was an effing lie. That's what the person says here. Claude, the always effing ass centipede, Claude Mark. Uh, say the line, Claude. We can just effing ask. And then they all cheer. <laughs> With how big Nidhi Sanji is, they can just order another one for their livers. But I guess 150 times whatever. Whatever's too much for them. Buying another play button wouldn't put a dent in what they make a year. And of course, um, this is Rara putting it through. Rao, guess what? I just received my silver play button. I'm happy and so grateful for all your support. Here's to many more milestones together. And yes, that is amazing. What do you mean it's 1.5 months since just this debut? <laughs> I know you did not ask, but it's really funny to think about how fast time goes. Slow down, Crony, please. Just as debuted at the end of June, with Elizabeth and Gigi for the 21st, Cecilia and Rora for the 22nd. Holy crap. It really has been that long, hasn't it? It really, time really does fly. But yeah, that's, that's a little bit of, it's memeing up on Claude and things like that. It's kind of, you know, kind of fun to see this, this happen, that they get their, their, uh, they actually get it. Because what Hololive does, is how life you know gets it and um they send one separate one to their talent so they buy two they buy one for their home office where they you can know they can have their wall just like nidhi sanji does uh, or their room and the talent themselves can get one in the case of fuamoko they order three one for themselves and one for each of the girls one for fuawa and one for mokoko and if you look at their at their twitter they both got one separately so that's three that they paid for that why because hololive knows that is something that makes your talents feel appreciated it makes them feel like wow you're getting an award anyways you know and they're actually getting to keep it it's really good so i'm glad that they do that there's been a topic of how bad curse on reddit mods are but they are at least aren't this bad uh the front featured uh the cross the crossbars are nidhi sanji Featured post gone rogue mods officially don't give a fuck. My mindset: if you're gonna purge a Reddit, at least read what you leave. Face bomb so much for rule two. I hate Niji. All oh, my homies hate Niji. Voice chat out of context. F Niji Sanji general hangout. I said this person is basically saying um, that at least they don't like. Of course, Sanji may may have you know the sycophants and things like that. You know people on one side, etc. Um, but at least they aren't this type of crazy where they have. VCs just to hate on Nidhi Sanji. Not even I'm that crazy. I don't have stuff to just hate on Nidhi Sanji. No VCs just to hate on Nidhi Sanji. I do VCs just to chill and just to hang out. Uh, it says this sub is pretty much the only sub that acts neutral. They're talking about, you know, if you're wrong, then people will call you out on it and you'll get downvoted into oblivion. If, it, if what you said that they thought was wrong later was proven to be true, they'll come back and apologize. It does happen there. I've seen it. You can also not talk about anything bad happening. Hollow Live or Hollow, the same with Niji Ripbozos and RVS. So not any sub has the door open for your criticism. Uh, did Kurosanji plan, plan to become that? No, it, became, it, it ended up, yeah, Kurosanji did end up becoming a place where like you can talk about Hololive, good or bad, uh, Vishojo, good or bad, uh, Nidhi Sanji, good or bad. You talk about those types of things. Like I give Nidhi Sanji their, their W's, like when it comes to their individual people, I give the individuals their W's when they have them um, because I try to be uh, objective. I'm a little too objective according to some people, but um, I still have my haters, even if I'm objective, because, you know, the fact that I have any hate on Nidhi Sanji, I have any dislike of Nidhi Sanji's practices, like I always say, the agency itself, the management itself, not the livers, and of course, never, ever, ever go and harass any of the livers, or any of the management, for God's sakes. Don't go and start putting, like, hate messages everywhere, because that does no good either. It gives them a victim complex. It gives them a chance to create victimhood. We don't want that either. You, we want them to be criticized and change, not, you know, uh, put up their walls and then make it harder for anything to get done. A huge positive, uh, is, is positive hug box. 
Absolutely can talk about negative stuff there and actual issues in our hollow life. There's been stuff I like have been upvoted discussed before. Corny's issue with the game perm stuff. Yeah, that's the thing. Other ones, I mean, Hollow Life, honestly, our Hollow Life is run by Hollow Life. Their main moderators are Hollow Life talents and Hollow Life uh, staff. So that is is free and open and people understand that. But there have been crit criticisms of Hollow Life. I remember our Hollow Life went insane when uh, the whole Kiryu Koko thing happened. Um, there was a ton, a ton of backlash and they allowed a lot of it. Of course, you know, the, the epithets and the, the uh, ad hominem attacks, those are removed always because those don't deserve to be there. But any good criticisms were allowed. And that's the way things should be. We all know they don't get paid enough. There really been that much discussion about the mods being bad. Mostly see people seeing things could be better, but I don't totally agree with the mods decisions. But overall, that they're going to do a decent job, a small team, keeping things from getting out of control. So yeah, basically this was the full thing. Um, and yeah, it was uh, six months ago. And it wasn't removed. Knowing this will get nuked probably once mods wake up and do their jobs. Add more context. Thumbs up. You know, it's just, that's what it is. It's the, it's the quote unquote out of context voice channel that some places have. It's just, it's weird. I don't know. I think it's just people are trying to say that at least Kurosanji isn't as bad as Nidhi Sanji. It can get that way, but luckily the mods seem to be in control of it. The title is saying that our boss K-San is ranting on something bad. This way comes on Ghost Month. So let's see what the rant is all about before we make our decision on whether it's bad or good. Uh, internet world, rather than trying our best to be a good person in both public and behind the scenes, it's so common for people to be nice on the surface but act inhumanely behind the scenes to be praised. I just can't accept it. If we expose that, we'll be the bad guys. And then she continues on by saying it really pisses me off when things like s harassment and power harassment are done to kids who would never say something like this not to loudmouths like me i do listen to what these kids have to say um and it's tough that i don't get to go i can't go and defeat them and defeat the bad people but even if i call it out the victim doesn't want to be involved anymore and that's how it goes everywhere and that's how these people keep their power harassment that's how they keep that s harassment they don't get called out the big people i'm talking about like the people that were like in wachter the people that were in um you know uh Owozu. people like that who are managers who are people in positions of management and in, in in higher end positions where they have control over people's pretty much livelihoods in many cases and they get her they harass people but then the people are like i don't want to uh go against them because it, you know it's going to hurt my chances in the community it's going to hurt my chances in this or that I understand that to a certain extent, but it's also, you know, giving them exactly what they want. And what I mean by that is you are giving the person who's doing that exactly what they want, which is keeping that power, keeping that strength that they have, keeping what they what, what they want that. And it just continues on to the next person and the next person and the next person. It's a little confusing. I know some Japanese people. So what is roughly saying, what she's saying is people who this person here is saying the translation is a little confusing i know some japanese so this is what it's roughly saying she's saying is that people who s harass people or abuse powers don't target people like me with big mouths but actually target people who don't speak about it more and it ticks her off uh what she wants is to call them out and the victim sometimes don't want to be involved with the situation and she finds it difficult i think she just feels annoyed that she can't call them out but understands the victims don't want to be involved. But she also finds it difficult to keep quiet and probably think that's unfair. Note, ko is, can also refer to people sometimes in this context. It's more than likely she's referring to a victim, not just kids, uh, because those bullies are cowards and only target the weak. But at the same time, in this country, the rights of criminals are given more respect to the privacy of their victims, so it's understandable people don't want to speak out. And also, you can, unfortunately, there are a lot of corporations that will uh, negatively affect you for these things. They will try to blacklist you or at least badmouth you to other organizations. It's really bad. Uh, base case on, I'm glad she's willing to call out uh, all the two-faced snakes that exist, not only in the VTuber space, but the entire content creator space in general. And I think right now she's calling more out the people in positions of power, the management, the the managers, the, the CEOs, the owners of corporations, that type of thing. The machine translation does not help, but I think she's angry about the internet that allows people to be total scumbags without any fear of retaliation while doing the same thing. IRL will bring consequences. Exactly. The uh, IRL, if any other stuff was done, it brings severe consequences. And um, yeah, it's just, it, I, I understand that part. I understand the part that she's saying when it comes to any kind of power vacuum or power, you know, control, like a manager, that type of thing. It is never good for the victim to not be able to talk about it, but it's also understandable that sometimes they just don't want to talk about it.
Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase, everyone, where I try to give a spotlight to those in the VTuber community, the smaller people, the medium-sized, whichever ones, because I try to give back to the community as a whole, who has given me a ton. So just giving a spotlight to those that are around. Uh, Big Papa Lemon is a lemon VTuber. Uh, Twitch affiliate, he, him, your favorite lemon VTuber variety streamer. VTuber Mama is Ida Mihan, and rigging is Cuzjet, and art is Big Pop Art. That's their art tag. So let's take a look at their channels and what they make. They have primarily just had um, their intros here. Here is their intro they have here. Just a regular, regular mine, look. Pro, mine sadly isn't a, I want to pee. a health thing. I've had it since I was a kid. I want to pee on people. Wait, no, not, no. I'm sorry, hold on, what? Yes, there we go. Of course it's going to happen. Uh, the, the whole I want to pee on people. Of course, that's gonna freaking happen. Yes, yes. That's that 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 is the type of that is the type of you know. I always find those things funny. It's always great. Um, they do have a stream schedule from what it looks like. Their schedules are always it seems like uh, my time. This is specific daylight time, by the way. They do it around 5 a.m. or so my time, and uh, then around 5 p.m. on Wednesday, and then the rest is like it's Monday through Wednesday that they do that. They have several streams. So Wednesday it looks like they have two streams. Or they had two streams at least and um they are doing what they need to do in order to continue continuing to make content and of course as you can see here their last stream was four days ago it's also good to take a break which is what they do and uh that's why i wanted to show you both their youtube and their twitch so you can take a look at both youtube doesn't have anything other than the um the shorts it's not the lives aren't put in there and they don't have any actual videos because i think this is going to eventually maybe be a, either a vod thing or it's just a shorts channel to try to get people to get to their twitch which is perfectly fine that's what a lot of people do so i wanted to give you guys this look at big papa lemon thank you for being a part of the vtuber showcase and i hope this helps you out in your continued growth your amazing growth that you've had and i hope it brings more eyes to you thank you so much that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you